may be seated. Our sermon today is taken from Galatians chapter 3. I know it says uh, up there, or will say up there in a little while and in your folder, that we're going to be going through, uh, through verse 20, I believe 24, but, or 22, I'm so sorry. We're uh, not actually going to be going that far. I had prepared to preach to verse 22, and then I realized we're doing a baptism today, and uh, I'm going to need to to cut down on the size of the sermon to a more manageable size. So uh, we're going to be taking a look in particular at verses uh, 15 through 18 of chapter 3 of Galatians. As you know, the book of Galatians is probably the earliest of the books in the New Testament. Uh, Paul wrote this uh, letter fairly soon after he had, um, he had done his missionary, his first missionary journey with Barnabas. And uh, he wrote it in response to how quickly the Galatians, whom he uh, called openly, as you remember at the beginning of this chapter, foolish, uh, asking who had bewitched them because they were so quickly turning away from the gospel of Christ. Judaizers had come in who were telling them that in order to be a true Christian, in order to be saved, in order to follow Christ and be part of the kingdom of God, you had to become a Jew first and you had to keep the ceremonial law. You had to be circumcised. You had to follow the dietary restrictions. You had to go to the temple on a regular basis. You had to do all of these things. You had to observe all of the types and shadows that had been forerunners of Christ. Even Gentiles were being taught that they had to do these things. So that in order to be uh, a Christian, you needed to be an Old Testament Jew. And they were setting before these men and women in Galatia, obedience to the law as the way of salvation, as the way of justification, the very thing that Paul had been preaching against. And so he is now writing in an attempt to turn them away from, from this.